Police say the killing of a father of four was targeted. Jared Brodigan was shot at close range on the evening of February 16th as he left the sanctuary neighborhood. Detectives believe he stopped to move a tire on the road and that's when he was shot multiple times. And the hard part of the story is his two year old daughter was in the car at the time. Now his wife is pushing for more tips from the community about who could be behind Jared's murder. She spoke with our Katie Jeffries. Kirsten Brightigan has many fond memories of coming here to the mini bar in Jacksonville Beach with her husband and their family. It's one of many businesses with flyers up like this, continuing the push for answers about who killed her husband. Kirsten Brightigan has a phone full of memories, videos and pictures capturing the love her husband Jared Brightigan had for his family. A father of nine year old twins, Abby and Liam, from a previous marriage, and their daughters, two and a half year old Bexley and seven month old London. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. It's a great picture, Daddy. I moved your flower. I see it. That's a beautiful flower. It was Bexley that was in the car with Jared the night he was shot. She brings that up, just Daddy on the, Daddy on the ground. We just talk about how his body couldn't get better and that he's with God. She says she doesn't know why anyone would want to kill Jared, the kind of man that surprised his children with a special breakfast on Valentine's Day and gave her a handwritten love letter. That letter's on my nightstand. Um, just because that was the last thing he gave to me. And it was truly from the heart. He put a lot of thought into that letter, and I'm really grateful that I got that. In the month and a half since Jared's murder, she has printed and hung up countless flyers at local businesses in Jacksonville Beach and started an Instagram page, Justice for Jared B., telling their family's story and urging the public to share it in the hopes that someone with information will call in or identify this truck. A Ford F-150 with tan or brown running boards, likely a 2004 to 2008 model with a silver toolbox in the back. It is a truck Jacksonville Beach police want to find. I still believe that one person's out there that knows what happened. Um, and we just want them to come forward so that this investigation, you know, can move forward and we can find out who did it so that we can give that family some, some closure. It's not going to make up for what happened, but we'd be able to at least give them some closure. And be able to give the children answers when they ask her who killed their father and why. For now, she holds tightly to the memories replaying the videos of the moments life was a dream. It's not just this photo you see on TV. He was a great dad, the best spouse, and I want people to know that so they know why it's important that we find the truck. In Jacksonville Beach, Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side. Mm. And if you recognize that Ford F-150 or have any information about the murder of Jared Brightigan, you can contact the Jacksonville Beach Police Department or call Crime Stoppers. That phone number, 866-845-TIPS. Remember, you can remain anonymous. There is a combined award right now of $18,000 from Crime Stoppers and the ATF in this case.